the inner. Playing video games isn't then, part of your typical doctor-patient visit. Yeah, there you go. But a little gaming under Dr. Bradley Lego's watch. And this one I don't think you have to drive. I think it drives for you. Is unlocking the mysteries of memory loss. While you're doing the video game here, we're recording all your brain waves, and we're gonna to try to use that to understand how seizures are impacting the brain waves and therefore impacting your memory. The UT Southwestern neurosurgeon is gaining an extra $690,000 over the next three years to fight degenerative brain disease. Southwestern Health Resources, the clinical network that combines UT Southwestern and Texas Health Resources, awarded Lega the inaugural Texas Health Resources Clinical Scholars Grant. I'm excited about it. He's using those funds to help patients like Jessica Jackson of Fort Worth. The purpose of it is, is to locate the weak nerve in the brain. So when they go in to do the surgery, if you qualify, which in my case I do, there's only one incision to be done. She's among the roughly 3 million Americans who suffer from seizures. That's about one in 26 people in the U.S who will develop epilepsy in their lifetime. There is a breakdown in the brain. Lega is one of only a handful of neurosurgeons in the country, taking a non-traditional approach to pinpointing where that breakdown is happening using GPS-guided robotics. He placed about a dozen tiny electrodes in the 46-year-old's brain that record electrical activity during seizures. They have like around a week of time where they're in the hospital waiting to have seizures so that then we can analyze the seizure pattern and say, okay, look, it's starting here, it spreads here. While he helps his patients, they can volunteer to help him make more sense of memory. While they're in the hospital, that's an opportunity for us to take advantage of the fact that these electrodes are in the brain of the human and try to understand better how memory is working. What Lega's learning may one day help millions of people continue holding onto memories they're at risk of losing. Hopefully some of the fundamental facts about how humans process memory that we're learning can then be applied to other conditions like Alzheimer's, mild cognitive impairment, and a traumatic brain injury. And it takes motivated patients like Jackson teaming up with doctors so that weak spot in her brain and in others gets stronger. Being able to get all of this resolved, I can put my life back on track and get back to work and take care of myself and my family as well.